Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? Today we're here, and the PTS just released four minutes ago, and we're doing a first look on the new god, Cthulhu. Now, Cthulhu, first off, phenomenal, right? We'll use uh, we'll use the recolor. This is his, this is his recolor skin. This is his normal skin. Just so you know, standard Ku, uh, Cthulhu. But I'm gonna use his recolor there because it looks so much cooler. And purple is kind of badass regardless. So we're fighting the boy Hoi. But dude, I'm so excited to play Cthulhu. It's gonna be it's gonna be so amazing, man. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this god, man. I've been waiting for him, dude. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit. Alright, alright, alright. Holy fuck, this guy's. This guy's big spooky, dude. Holy shit. Alright, so basically. Let's, uh. Hold on. Yo. Wait. Yo. Sit in base for a sec. Let's see. So I just want to go uh, do a quick rundown of abilities for you guys. And a couple of quick changes that the patch had. So uh, a couple of quick changes. You see when I run over here, they have the numbers above them. The little minions. So you see how much damage you uh, are doing. Um, no worries, bro. Uh, let me put this guy on uh, on quick cast so that you guys can see everything. Now let's run through his abilities, right? His one is a cone that um, does damage, obviously, and inflicts two stacks of torment. Now, basically, what that stack of uh, well, it it, it applies one stack, but two stacks if they're facing. Um. But basically what your passive is, is whenever you apply four stacks on Torment, they become insane. And they start seeing and hearing different things. And my second video today will be on the opposite perspective of uh, Cthulhu. But basically, um, your passive is to apply four stacks of Torment using your one and your two and your three and your auto attack. And your auto attack chain is a one, a two, and then an AoE. And that, that third AoE will apply a stack of Torment. And um, basically what that does is once you get the four, you can then use it and consume the Torment using your one, which will then fear them and give you a permanent base mitigation. Now basically you get 0.5 per stack up to a maximum of 20 stacks, which means you have a maximum of uh, thirty percent damage mitigation, and that's what this number is. Is AUX right here? That's my passive. They haven't they haven't coded this in. It's PTS. It just came out, like I said, four or five minutes ago. So, um, this is just that little section right there, and that's basically that. The second ability is really cool. Now you might be thinking, "Wow, that's a kraken," and it is. It's as big as a kraken. Um, it's a channeled ability where you place it down, and then you can move around. The first hit will do damage and slow them. The second hit will do damage and root them. And this is what it looks like. It's super cool, really cool. Um, yeah, like I said, it slows and then it roots and you can cancel that ability by uh, just right clicking obviously during the channel. So I'll show you that right now as well. Uh, you can just cancel it. It won't do any damage. It'll just do the slow. You could cancel it after the first ticket damage. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. And then the three, which in my opinion is the coolest ability. Um, the targeter is really weird. So basically what happens is Cthulhu dashes forward, swiping his wings behind him with each damage cone. 
And while Cthulhu is flying forward, anything he hits will be pushed to the side, the right or left, depending on where they are. And then when they get pushed, uh, they then get hit by the side dash. So this is what it looks like. It's super cool, dude. It's super cool. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into the game. Okay, let's game. So let's get into the game now. I just wanted that quick rundown of abilities. So you guys knew exactly what Cthulhu was. Boom! Just get my clear on, brother. Alright. So I'm not quite sure which ability to level. Um... I'd argue that you probably want to level the two because it's best for wave clear. Oh, here's the ultimate, boys. So the ultimate is crazy. Now, before I do this, I just want everyone to know <laughs> exactly what his ultimate is. So, when he ults, his 1, his 2, and his 3 get changed. They are now different abilities. And they do different things. Um, the 1 becomes pretty much his auto attack. And it will swipe in front of you. Dealing massive AoE damage to anyone ahead. It's got a 1 second cooldown and no mana cost. So it basically just replaces your auto attack. Um, your 2... Becomes a long cooldown knockback of sorts. And you're the biggest character in the game, by the way. Um, so Cthulhu, when alting, becomes the biggest character in the entire video game. The biggest controllable character in the entire video game. His, like I said, his one becomes AoE. His two becomes that big... Um, knock up AOE thing that I just used to kill him and his three is irrelevant for duel because you will never use it but just to inform people um, his three is basically a I don't, I'm trying to like explain it basically what his three does when he's in his alt form is a completely it's a huge, huge, huge area. Like a giant, giant area. <laughs> um, and it damages you, but it heals all your allies and gives them bonuses. I believe it's a bonus. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty crazy. You never want to use it in a 1v1, obviously, because it damages you and it's not good for fights, but... Um, worth mentioning, by the way, that Cthulhu is completely CC immune when he's in his alt, but when he's not in his alt, he's just a normal bro. He's just a normal Cthulhu bro. I gotta be honest. He seems a little strong. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's it's so insane. The the feeling you get playing this character. Oh my god. It's amazing. Now I haven't taken advantage of his passive at all, but like I said, it's basically just if you can apply four stacks of Insanity on them or torment. I'm sorry to make them go insane. You get that extra 0.5% mitigation And just for leveling your one you get a 20% base mitigation It's crazy This character seems super super strong This man just stopped Cthulhu in his fucking tracks <laughs> He's Pretty much, um, he's about as big as Jormungandr, maybe a little bit smaller, but 
Not by much. Um. All right. He's got his jump up, so we'll force that real quick. Oh, there's the fear. Oh my god. So basically, if you use his three, right there, what I just did. I'll do it again right here. You take a lot of damage. Um, you can't actually hit towers in his form. Oh! Dude, that range is so big. The range on that two is giant. And it's even bigger because like you can you can max range cast and then just run away. Like I can hit red buff clearly while over here. That's crazy. It's so strong, man. So I haven't played him at all, but I've you know I watched the patch notes and basically I think the patch notes are um they they pretty much just said get jump of ISO, it's important, you know, like <laughs> You hit him with your two, and then you can guarantee the the root basically with the extra slow. Oh my god! I can't wait to show the the other perspective of this either, because he is literally speaking. He's the biggest character in the entire game, dude. Oh shit! Damn, I hit him with my 2 twice, it did 850 damage. Holy shit, dude. This guy's insane, man. <laughs> okay, I was just testing. I wanted to see if my uh, where do you go? Oh, he's over there. I wanted to see if my three could hit minions, and it can. So, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. You just alt and you're this fucking behemoth demon for like a hundred seconds. Oh my god, dude. It's phenomenal. Oh god, run. I, dude. When you're when you're alting, there's no feel. They're like there's no better feeling. I have no mana, but I kind of want to fight him. It's bad, I know. I always get these like um, not even necessarily like false sense of strength but i'd always get like way too overconfident when i'm playing a new god because there's so much fun man it's it's so new to the game and exciting you know oh man that dash is so fucking cool like i i can't express to you the level of like how cool the dash actually is
I can't express to you guys how cool the dash actually is because of the fact that you're not playing you don't feel like the heaviness of it you know like when you're playing you feel the weight that that dash has like just this massive creature like being thrown forward it has a huge weight to it it's really cool it's really really cool Boom! 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 Knock up! Boom! Boom! Look at this puny ass titan! And he's so good at like kiting as well. Oh shit. Damn, that thing's still massive. <laughs> I'm the biggest character in the entire game and that thing's still massive. Holy shit. Um, I'm, by the way, I'm building completely random items. It's not like these items got buffed or anything. I'm just building random ass items that give me power. Uh, by the way, Cthulhu's not a mage. He's a guardian. <laughs> you're probably like looking at the damage I'm doing and how cool he looks and everything. And you're like, wow, that's amazing. And then I just dropped that fucking knowledge bomb that he, that he's a guardian. <laughs> Oh my god. What's up, bitch? Boom! Hit him with a blink. And the ult! Boom! Hit him with the knockup! And the one right after. Boom! Boom! You're not safe over there! Where are you going, motherfuck? Boom! Hold on. Boom! Dash through him with the kill. Oh my god, he's so cool. He's so cool. Cthulhu, my boy. I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. Hyrez outdid themselves, dude. This is so cool, man. This is such a cool character. Holy shit. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look video. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Make sure to check in on the next video to see what the insanity looks like and what Cthulhu looks like while you're fighting him. Until next time, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.